About four months ago, I started working as a data analyst. And the question I get asked the most after how to become a data analyst is, what tools are you using at your job? Hey, what's up everyone? If you're new here, my name is Akin. In this video, I'm going to talk about the tools I use day to day as a data analyst. First and foremost, I'm not going to talk about the tools you need to become a data analyst as I did that before. Data analysis is a big field, so the work and the tools that being used might be different for two analysts at separate companies. For example, the work that my team does is very specific. We're basically transforming slash converting our clients healthcare data to a common data model called OMAP. I had no idea what OMAP was before I started working at this company, and I assume most analysts don't know what it is either. So long story short, some of the tools and the apps that I'm mentioning here might be different from what other data analysts use. Before I got this job, I thought I was gonna be creating dashboards using Tableau or Power BI, like most data analysts do but turns out I'm not creating any dashboards at all. So with all that in mind, let's talk about the tools and the apps that I use as a data analyst. The first tool that I use is Microsoft Excel. I think in almost every job, you're gonna be using some sort of spreadsheet program and it's most likely Excel. I don't have to explain what Excel is, but let's talk about how I use it day to day. I use Excel mostly for reviewing and getting more insights from the data. What does that mean in my case? We as data analysts in my team use an application called White Rabbit. I'm gonna talk more about this application later in the video, but briefly it outputs an Excel file and it helps us with analyzing and seeing the structure of the data we're dealing with and it prepares us for designing the ETL spec. Because one of the main responsibilities of our team is designing an ETL spec so that the developers can run the scripts and complete the conversion for our clients. Also from time to time, I might use some functions like VLOOKUP to update and join datasets if I'm dealing with small data. And lastly, within smaller teams, we're using Excel for tracking internal and smaller tasks and projects. We obviously don't get data in an Excel spreadsheet format with few exceptions because Excel doesn't really handle large data sets well. So we can't really manipulate and work on the data with Excel or it would be hard I should say. And that's where SQL comes into play. I think SQL is the most used tool in data analysis. It's a structured query language that is designed to store and query data that's in relational databases. I would say our developers use SQL more often because their role is adjusting and running the scripts. As a data analyst, the way I use SQL is I write queries for pulling data from our databases to review the data to get a better understanding and to do analysis on it to get answers. That would look like joining two data sets to see their relationships or to get a percentage of something and to find out how much of the records could be converted to the CDN. I haven't had a data analyst job before this, but I would think as analysts in my team, we're not using SQL as heavily as most others would do, but this is how I use it in my current role. You might ask here, okay, you write SQL code, but what interface or what kind of tools do you use to write your queries? Well, it's the next tool I'm gonna to talk about, which is Agenity Premium. Agenity Premium is a collaborative intelligence and database tool, and it lets you connect to multiple databases, explore and analyze the data across all platforms. I personally really like the interface and how user-friendly it is, it also makes designing, building, and maintaining data warehouses very easy, which is handy for our developers. When it comes to writing SQL in Agility Premium, I think it's not really different from other applications. So tools like SQL Workbench, DBeaver, or Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio would work just fine for doing analysis on the data. Another tool I wanna to mention is Tableau. Tableau is a BI tool, a visual analytics platform, and it lets people create visualizations and interactive dashboards. All right, I'm gonna be honest here, I don't really use Tableau at work. I've only used it once for one client, and it was just to review a dashboard. Like I said in the beginning, I thought I was gonna be creating dashboards using Power BI or Tableau, but I'm not doing that at the moment. Snowflake is a data cloud company that offers cloud-based data storage and analytics service. 
We store our data in Snowflake like many companies do. We also use Snowflake to write SQL queries just like Agility Premium. I like Agility's interface better, but I do use Snowflake from time to time. Another common tool that is widely used in the tech field is GitHub. Most engineers use it to collaborate, push their codes and get them reviewed. It's also commonly used to host open source projects and since the common data model we're working with is an open community data standard, the way I use GitHub is I'm just referring to the CDM on there, so I'm not pushing any codes or pulling requests like most engineers would do. Another tool I use is White Rabbit. It's a small Java application that is used to analyze the structure and the contents of a database. Like I said before, it helps with designing the ETL. Basically, you upload a source data from a database or a CSV or SAS files. White Rabbit runs it and gives you a scan report with all the details you need like information of tables, fields and the frequency distribution of values. Usagi is another small application that I use, but this is for vocabulary custom mapping. It means data that needs to be custom mapped to the CDM standards. If there are like more than 20 records, I would use Usagi to map them. When I say custom mapping, I mean mapping the concepts in our client's source data to the common data model that we're converting to. Lastly, this is not related to data analysis, but we use Jira for project management and tracking the stories for the sprints. So these are all the tools that I use as a data analyst. If you want to know how I got a data analyst job in the first place, you can check my how I became a data analyst video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.